What's going on, guys? Drones and Dogs here. Welcome back to the channel. All right, y'all. We back with another one. We thought it was going to be another one. I'm going to do a huge shout out to my father in law, Tom. Dropped this off the other day. Simrex X900. We're going to have everything out the box. I'm going to show you what comes in the box and we can get this bad boy in the air. Let's do this. All right, y'all, we back with another one. We thought it wasn't going to be another one, man. Simmerex X900. Shout out to my father-in-law, Tom, for uh, sending this over for review. So it has visual positioning, which is optical flow. It has the VR split mode in the app. Follow me, gesture. The follow me is not, this is not GPS, so I don't imagine that working too great. But we'll see what it does. And gesture mode to take videos and photos. So it's a Wi-Fi FPV drone, guys. And this is the X900, guys. Now... Looks like they have a different uh, assortment of colors, red, like a rock ash, a gray color, white, and black. Um, so yeah, man, we're just gonna take this bad boy up, see what they do. I have the white version, so shout out to Tom. And I'm not sure where you can pick this up at. I think you can get it on Amazon. I'm gonna try to find a link on Amazon. So if I can find the link, it will be in the description below. Check out the description if you guys are interested in this video. Also, like the video, subscribe if you haven't, click the notification bell, because we do stuff like this all the time if rc is what you like to do and you like to watch rc on youtube you are in the right spot guys let's get it going pretty windy out so you the instruction manual of course go over that it's going to show you how to operate this get everything charged up um the functions on the controller all that stuff so definitely go over that the battery here is a 1200 milliamp hour it has a uh JST connection on the battery so we should get a decent flight time out of this battery and it's not a proprietary battery so you can like use some of the older SEMA style type batteries any battery with a red JST connector you should be able to use with this quadcopter which is cool I love it when they don't use a um, proprietary battery it means you can use plenty of spares so here we have the controller and it's a nice like like a matte feel of the controller like a rubbery matte feel it's a nice feel of the controller it has a <clears throat> FPV foam mount here, of course. Um, we have some bumper buttons, 360 flip label, photo video button here, power button, speed button, one, two, and three speeds, automatic takeoff and land, headless mode, and uh, one key return. And here's a charging port. You get a micro USB to charge the um, this controller. This is a rechargeable controller, which is nice. So you get a micro USB to charge the controller. You get the charger for the drone, for the drone battery as well, you guys. Okay. So, <clears throat> so here in the bottom, you got some spare propellers, a Phillips screwdriver to um, attach the propeller. You get a, actually, I think you get a actually four four propellers to actually change the the fuel around if you have to uh, happen to damage any. And then of course underneath here is going to be a charger for the drone, for the drone remote and the drone's battery underneath there. All right, guys. So, without too much more being said, the drone is a nice foldable drone. It folds out really nice. I love it the way it folds out in this, this sleek, compact form. Really easy for beginners to get out. Really easy for beginners to get out and fly. Foldable landing gear, complete foldable drone. So, you want to do is uh, fold out the uh, rear legs or rear arms, I should say, and then fold out the front arms boom it becomes a, a substantially larger quadcopter you also have your landing gear you want to just fold it out like that boom 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 you have your battery door bay with a locking me mechanism right here you just want to swivel this thing just and then open that up there's your battery bay you also have an sd card slot right here we're not going to use the sd card we're going to record it straight directly back to our phone using the app so it's going to save directly into the phone using the app, but you do have the ability to use the SD card. So maybe we'll try flying it one day without the app and see if it records directly to the card without the app. So we'll do a follow-up flight with that. So put this in there, put the door down, securely lock it in. Boom, guys, we are set to fly. So we have a 1080p Wi-Fi FPV camera up front. Nice landing gear. We have a power switch here underneath. LED lights underneath, we got green up front and red or orange in the rear. 
nice and you can also see it from the top the LED lights this is a brushed geared motor quad so it's not brushless keep that in mind guys so everything is this is everything in a nutshell the Simrex X900 so let me go ahead and get this battery in here or we got the battery in here let's get it charged up and let's get it out for a fly of course guys we're getting out here to fly <clears throat> and the wind wants to pick up so first thing first guys we want to turn on the drone lights are flashing on the drone and let's go ahead and turn on the remote up down we are bound to the remote let's get this thing on a flat surface here let's do uh both joysticks both joysticks and calibrate it here the controller beat lights flash so now we before we connect to the app we want to get into our wi-fi settings connect to the wi-fi of the drone x900 1080p so there that's the wi-fi of the drone and then the app for this guy is the h fun app free downloadable app in ios or the android store so it's the h fun app is asking me to i want to connect there's no internet of course so we are connected here's the h fun app click start bow fpv feed guys okay so you can see we have fpv feed we're not going to do a spring recording or nothing we're just going to uh, use the Wi-Fi FPV feed from the drone. So let's go ahead and click recording. Recording is started, you guys. Got a timer countdown in the middle of the screen. So we should be able to just take off. Now it's kind of breezy, so we might not be able to be in a low rate for too long, but let's take off. Long press automatic takeoff. And the drone takes off. And I did, I forgot to mention that this drone does have um, optical flow. So it does have position hold. So it should be able, even though it's breezy, it should be able to kind of hold its position and we're not touching anything and it's holding its position. Look at that, even in the breeze and low rates, not touching anything, that thing is holding its position. So that's pretty good. Thumbs up, thumbs up for the optical flow over there. So this is the lower rate. It is pretty breezy. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and just or to the second speed because it was starting to get pushed around already in the low in the low rate. And I'll admit it is a bit breezy here. Camera actually looks pretty good for 1080p. You actually be surprised at some of these cheaper drones at how uh, the camera actually turns out. Sometimes you just don't know, but this actually is pretty good. We are in the second speed here, and we do have a flip button. Once you kind of settle down, I'm going to put it in a third speed. That way I got control, optical flow is holding. Short press on the uh, flip button. Okay. I'm trying to see if she does front flip. Since she, don't, she only does rolls to the left or to the right. She doesn't do front or back flips which is okay i'm not really into really flipping these brush gear quads too much because you will prematurely burn off the motor doing too many flips so periodically looking down at the camera the camera actually looks pretty decent to be honest and it's quite breezy so i'm actually impressed i'm gonna let go see if the optical flow holds up there and it's breezy look at that it's holding so that's pretty good guys Two minutes, 20 seconds of recording on the camera, on the Wi-Fi camera. So yeah, guys. Nice flyer, and it's a 1200 milliamp hour battery, so I imagine we should get about, hmm, I don't know guys, about 10 minutes maybe. Depends on how much wind you fighting. If you're flying on a calm day, like today is breezy, so it's doing a lot of men fighting you can see the camera doesn't have any gimbal so it's gonna bobble up and down a little bit for what it is for what it is oh yeah
Yeah. Pretty impressed. Good flower, even in some uh, pretty decent amount of wind here, which is what I'm impressed with. Three and a half minutes of recording. Be a nice candidate for wind is picking up a beginner drone. You can see it's getting affected by the out by the um wind. The barometer is trying to fight it. And guys, if you are a beginner, I do not recommend flying in the wind on this any type of wind like this. You gotta have a little bit of experience. minutes 40 seconds of recording let's stop that recording just so we save something when they were gym down there make sure we save some here so what I want to do is uh since we got gym down there let's take a photo just took a photo of Jim walking up took another photo of Jim walking up and start another video the video started you can see Jim walking up on the camera there Pretty good. <laughs> Everybody can say what's up to Jim on the camera there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty good flower, guys. <laughs> so yeah, you can see it's nice and stable. I give it two thumbs up guys looks like Jim is enjoying it and he's checking it out <laughs> hey Jim yeah not too bad at all guys camera looks pretty good we got about another minute and a half of recording of Jim there stop that recording recording is saved let's bring it in close to take a real close look of it Still no flashing lights. I'm gonna let go of the stick, see if the obstacle flow holds. Look at that, position holds. Check that out. That's pretty good. Not touching anything at all. Sim wreck, look at this little drift there. They're not touching anything. Sim wreck X900, guys. Solid little flyer, look at that. So yeah. Let's hit this land button. Long press it. Long pressing it, and it's gonna just drop down all on its own. Look at that. What? Stuck the landing as well. On a windy day, I don't think you can really complain about this thing, guys. Simrex X900. Like I said, I'll try to find a link on Amazon or something below. If you guys wanna pick it up, because I think it's a good beginner drone. It's a nice little drone. Your boy drawing the dogs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Deuces.